Lisa Sarah Cormac Great, PCMP is a Canadian politician, who is the Conservative Party Member of Parliament for the Riding of Milton. She is a professional administrator turned politician. Great served as the Minister of Transport in the Cabinet of Canada. Great was born Lisa Sarah Cormac in Sydney, Nova Scotia, as the youngest of seven children. Her father, Colin A. McCormack, worked for a local coal mine, loading coal onto ships, and later served as city orderman, and secretary treasurer and a lead negotiator for the Cape Breton Railway Transportation and General Workers. Her mother, Mary Christina Tutsi, was a businesswoman. Rate was married to her second city alumnus, playwright, and stay-at-home dad David Rate, and has two sons, John Colin and Billy, and is now divorced. Rate graduated from St. Francis Xavier University in Nova Scotia with a Bachelor of Science degree. She went on to do a master's degree in chemistry, specializing in environmental biochemical toxicology, from the University of Guelph. Rate possesses an LL.B from Osgoot Hall Law School, and was called to the Ontario Bar in 1998. That year, she was granted a Dr. Harold G. Fox scholarship. As a result, she trained with barristers of the Middle Temple in London, United Kingdom, which specialized in international trade, commerce, transportation and arbitration. Rate served as the PARS Corporate Secretary and General Counsel and Harbour Master from April 2001. She was the first female Harbour Master of a Canadian port. As General Counsel for the TPA, she filed a $1 billion lawsuit over 600 acres of land that was transferred in the 1990s to the city of Toronto's Toronto Economic Development Corporation by the Toronto Harbour Commission. The disputed lands, mostly the infill lands of the Don River Delta, constituted around 85% of the THC's land assets. As of the early 1990s, the lands had been transferred into separate agreements in 1991 and 1994 in exchange for a permanent subsidy for the THC. The TPA's legal claim was that the transfer had been done, while the majority of directors of the THC were city-appointed, and who had acted in the city's interest, and not in the commission's fiduciary interest, and that the deals crippled the THC's ability to be self-sufficient by ending any potential revenues from those lands. Since the TPA was inheriting the role and activities of the THC, it was thus crippled itself. The TPA and the city settled out of court in exchange for a promised bridge to the island airport across the Western Gap and approximately $50 million. The bridge was never built. Instead a pedestrian tunnel under the Western Gap was constructed and completed on July 30, 2015. In 2002, Rate was appointed as President and Chief Executive Officer of the Toronto Port Authority, a Canadian federal corporation that manages the Toronto Harbour as well as the Toronto City Centre Airport. C. relinquished the post of Harbour Master to Angus Armstrong in 2004. As CEO of the TPA, Rate was responsible for building the International Marine Passenger Terminal, a Toronto home for the now-defunct Canadian-American Transportation Systems, a Rochester, New York-based group. The ground was broken on 24 August 2004, and CATS operated for six months in 2005. The Rochester firm that initially owned the ferry had a 14-year lease on the use of the terminal that would have paid the city of Toronto $250,000 per year. The terminal was reported to have cost $10.5 million to construct, which makes a 0.33 cost recovery factor. The lease was terminated in December 2009 after payment of a $90,000 settlement. The terminal has seen little use since then except to dock cruise ships and as a movie set. During her time as CEO of the TPA, the Air Canada Jazz service to the Toronto City Centre Airport was discontinued under legal cloud. In 2006 Rate jointly filed a political libel action for $3.4 million against Community Air, a citizen group that had criticised her. The lawsuit was criticised as a slap-type legal tactic meant to silence critics of the airport. 
The suit was eventually settled out of court, when in May 2007 Community Air agreed to retract its statements and apologize.